How to add a checkbox grid to your Google Forms. Hey everyone and welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to actually achieve this. So the first thing is going to be accessing Google Forms. So you can just go to google.com and then click on the Google Apps on the top right. And then if you just scroll down to the bottom, you should find the Forms option here. So just go ahead and click on that. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and create a blank form. So this is going to be one of the basic things that we can actually create with Google Forms. Yet It is actually very powerful, and I'll show you why. So we can just go ahead and name this whatever we want. So we can just do a checkbox. Nope. Oh, grid. Okay, can I name it actually or what? There you go, grid. Uh, and if you want to add a form description, feel free to do so. But anyways, we want to basically jump into one of the questions here. And you can feel free to name it whatever you want. It's not going to make a difference. I'm just going to name it test question. And then you want to basically go to the right side of your question here next to the image option where you will find multiple choice as the default. You want to just go ahead and click on that and then you will find multiple choice grid and also checkbox grid. So you obviously want to just go for the checkbox grid. Now in here, we are, this is going to create basically rows and columns that we can add feel free to adjust and so on i'm just going to add a few rows first so let's just go ahead and add about five of them like so just go ahead and click on the next one and you'll be able to create one and here i'm going to also create five uh, different columns so here we can just go ahead and set it up to be for example one and then we can just go for the other one two uh three four five Maybe it could be days, it could be whatever you actually want it to be. And you will see exactly how it's going to work here. So here in columns, I'm just going to actually keep them the same because I don't feel like changing all of them. And now, if you actually wanted to see how you want uh, how it actually looks like, but before we even get to that, you can also make sure that it is a requirement to response to each specific row. But I'm just going to turn this off. And anyways, to actually see how this is going to actually look like, you can just go ahead and click away or you can just click on the title of the form and you can actually see now that they have the test question here one two three four five which are the rows and we also have the columns here and you can just go ahead and start i mean if you actually start answering them let's just go ahead and add a b c d e just to make it a little bit easier to understand uh we're pretty much set so let's just go ahead and send this form to ourselves and see how it's actually going to look like in here so it's going to look a little something like this where you will have the rows and columns and you can just go ahead and start checking them like so so this is pretty much how to create a checkbox grid in google forms hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching